Hello everyone, I'm Tyler Yates. And I'm Sarah Newman. You are watching Campbell Now. The spring semester is coming to a close this week and the final day of classes is on Wednesday. This Thursday is reading day for all undergraduate students. There will be no classes so students can begin prepping for their exams starting on Friday. Campbell students, if you need a break from studying before final exams, stop by Gaylord's Kitchen for midnight breakfast. The event will be held on April 26 from 10 to 11.30 p.m. Midnight breakfast is a great way to take a break from studying and have fun with friends. If you're looking for a fun activity to help unwind from the stress of exams, this next story might be for you. Campbell's Uplift Group is hosting karaoke night on Tuesday. Come out to the Student Union Movie Theater and enjoy a night of refreshments, games, and karaoke. The event begins at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there. Campbell Athletics is joining a new conference during the summer. The new conference is expected to be more competitive than the current Big South Conference. Our Clay Cartagena has the story. Starting the 2023-2024 season, Campbell University will be moving from the Big South Conference to the Colonial Athletic Association. This is great news for Campbell Athletics as this will be a step forward for all of Campbell sports. Senior Associate Athletics Director Chris Haymeyer explains what the crossover means for Campbell. Um, it's a great move uh, athletically from top to bottom. Uh, it is one of the premier conferences in the country and especially on the East Coast. So it's really going to expand what Campbell can do, not only athletically, but also on the university and academic side of things too. Campbell will follow NC State, A&T, and Hampton University into moving from the Big South to CAA. Campbell joined the Big South Conference in 1983 as one of the founding members after joining the NCAA Division I in 1977. Fans are excited to see the Campbell Fighting Camels take on new opponents. We cheer Campbell on as they move forward in their journey. Thank you, Clay. Campbell baseball is now ninth in the country after a serious sweep against High Point during the weekend. Campbell had a rough start to the game on Friday and was down 8-1. However, they dominated the later innings and finished the game 16-9. The Campbells outscored High Point 48-17 across the three games. Their season continues this Tuesday when they host Duke. This is Campbell's highest ranking in history. Campbell Lacrosse is celebrating a new program record for most wins in a season after defeating Winthrop on Saturday. The Campbells are 11-4 overall and undefeated in Big South play. Their season continues this Wednesday when they go up against High Point. Campbell Softball is celebrating another series sweep after beating Ratford during the weekend. The Campbells are now 33-13 overall with a Big South record of 14-3. They are back in action this Wednesday when they play a doubleheader against UNCW. If you are looking for free items, the Campus Activities Board will be hosting a leftover event on Tuesday from, four, from 2 to 5 p.m. CAB will be giving away all leftover items from the school year, so be sure to stop by before time runs out. The event will take place in the Student Union. This week, Campbell is celebrating its athletes with the annual CAMIS Awards. The ceremony recognizes athletes from all sports, and nominees will receive awards for their athletic accomplishments during the year. Be sure to come by and congratulate Campbell's athletes for a strong year. The event takes place in the Student Union on April 27th at 6 p.m. North Carolina has many different festivals across the state this summer. The festivals range from music events to the annual Pickle Festival in Mount Olive. To find festivals near you, search for 2023 festivals in North Carolina. Thanks for watching. I'm Tyler Yates. And I'm Sarah Newman. This is our final episode of the semester. See you next semester on Campbell Now.